All right, what's up, traders? Another one here from the Dark Side family. And uh, we are looking at the dollar right now. And what is going on in the new year? 2023, new year, new me, the year I'm going to be a millionaire trader, and we can't get any price action, right? So let's talk about that, guys. Um, first and foremost, again, the dollar. You know, this is, this is what's going on. This is daily time frame. I'm not even going to waste my time going down into the four hour, the one hour, the Hell, definitely not the minutes. None of that. What's going on, guys, is just a buildup. This is a buildup. This is – think to yourself, this is, you know, price action, pausing, taking a break before it starts its new journey. Now, whether that's going to be to the upside or to the downside, only the Instagram gurus know the answer to that. I personally don't know exactly what's going to happen just yet. Um, I am still holding short positions on the dollar. And uh, fact of the matter is – it's pretty simple to see what everybody else is looking at. Um, you know, people are looking at the market like this. So that means what? That means the long positions are in here, right? So everybody's looking to buy. And unfortunately, these poor people probably haven't got much sleep the entire month of January because every day it looks like it's going well. And then every day it looks like it's going against them. So um, not my style of trading in particular. Um, not really what we what we do on the dark side, but you know, to each their own. If this is your style of trading, just so you know, though, you know, if this is your way of trading, everybody knows where your stop is. So that's one thing you kind of want to consider. And uh, I don't really like to trade where everybody knows where my stop is, and I don't like to put my stop where everybody else's is. So these situations are not things that I typically get involved with. But um, you know, if you are having a hard time right now because of the current price action and, and whether you want to believe it or not, the dollar, the DXY, the dollar index plays a tremendous role in every single Forex pair. Um, I can't tell you exactly why. I just know through backtesting, you know, um, it, obviously it affects more pairs than others like EU, for example, and not so much maybe CAD, Swiss franc. But if you look properly, you'll see when the dollar gets moving, these other pairs do as well. So in other words, when the dollar gets consolidated like this in a buildup phase, then you can expect a lot of consolidation from a lot of other pairs as well. You know, now, obviously, our guys are still able to pull trades out of what we call local markets. That's something we developed on our team. So, you know, we're able to still decipher those and try to pull them out, but it's not easy. You know, I'm not going to lie to you. It's not easy. And when I say it's not easy, what I really mean is it's 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 more challenging to be consistent. You know, it's easy to press a button and hope it goes right. But in order to maintain any level of consistency, these conditions are the hardest, you know. So, you know, the good thing is you have a choice. And the choice is simply to be involved in positions or to not be until it's all over. So for me personally, like I said, I'm still holding some dollar shorts, but I haven't taken a new position and uh, in quite some time, there's a couple little intraday local market plays that I've taken here and there, only when they look perfect and, uh, you know, when the guys present them to me, I get involved. But uh, but realistically, to me, it's just a build up right now. There's no need for panic. Um, you know, we spoke in the previous video about, about prop firms and how they use something as simple as time against you. And how I told you guys that maybe looking into something like time you know, to your advantage could be helpful to you. In other words, you know, when it's not your time to be in the market, you know, remember they have two rules, they have time and percentages. So those are the two things you should also focus on in your trading, right? So, you know, in other words, if you started the, the new year, new me, right? All right. And this is, this is you. And, uh, you know, it's January 1st and you've got your new, uh, a prop firm account, or maybe you, you know, you finally put together a little bit of money. You're going to start a decent account, $10,000. All right. And you're thinking to yourself, all right, great. You know, I'm going to get in and I'm going to get long here and I'm going to catch the move and I'm going to be rich and it's going to work out like that. Get, you know, honestly, guys, you don't want to trade that way because I think it's more efficient to let things happen first. In other words, if, if you went in with that mindset, right, in the beginning of January, and let's just go to the beginning of January, right? There's uh, there's the 10th, there's the 4th. Okay. So here's January, you know, you started your FOP firm, you're waiting for your first opportunity, right? And maybe you're looking at the zone, whether you want to call this an order block, an imbalance, a demand, whatever you want, it doesn't matter. But you're watching that zone, right? Price comes down to the zone, so now you're thinking, perfect, you know, it tapped in, and maybe you got in earlier, you got in somewhere here, you caught this wick, remember it's daily time frame, so you know, you caught this on a lower time frame around the 18th, 
and or maybe a little previous to that, you know, the 16th, the 14th, whatever. And now you're long, okay? And you're waiting and you're waiting and you're waiting. <clears throat> now remember, time is going against you based off the prop firm, right? 30 days. So all this consolidation period, this whole thing right now is just making you sweat. You know, every day you've got to watch, am I in profit? Have I been taken out? What's going on? The, the days are running out on me. That's how time goes against you guys, you know? If you would just wait for price to actually pick its direction, and I'm not saying the dollar is long. I'm not saying that, and I'm not saying it's short either. But let's just say if, you know, the dollar actually did get to moving like this, this is when you're better off starting your challenge or starting your, you know, your actual, your real trading account. You know, because again, what are you trying to avoid? What do I talk to you guys about? Avoid trying to be first. Okay, remember the first people out are usually the first ones to get killed. Doesn't mean that's going to happen right now, but I, I know you guys know this from your own trading. But anytime you're first into an order block or an imbalance or a break of structure, you're usually taken out of the market, especially the way the market's been acting these last couple, probably years at this point. You know, so. Stay away from being first, guys. Stay, stay away from that, especially when you're trading real money. If you just want to make a cool screenshot and take a gamble and hope it goes well just to post it and be, be a mentor by the end of the year, that's one thing. You know what I mean? But if you're actually trading to make money, okay, to do this for a living, to be successful at trading and try to build some level of consistency, you can't be taking these risky situations. All you have to do is leave it alone. That's all you got to do is just not do anything. But unfortunately, that seems to be the hardest thing for everybody because you're influenced by everyone around you, the social media, the Lamborghinis, all the other things you think you need to be in the market now. It's the it's the first month of the new year and you haven't made a million dollars yet, so you start sweating. You know, I'm telling you guys, we have like a little way of, uh, of looking at the market where I try to explain to my guys and we've all come to this, this conclusion and this understanding. But, you know, if you think about – what you're trying to do right now, you know, and if you think about, uh, let's say you're betting, you're betting on a game, right? We have the Super Bowl coming up in, in um, February now in the United States. Isn't it much easier to bet on the winner of the Super Bowl in the fourth quarter compared to before the game starts? I mean, don't you realize that's why when you are betting or wagering or even in the market taking a position, you know, when you're when you're betting, you're you're hoping really that things go your way because you don't really know what's going to happen. That's the whole, you know, risk in betting, right? But you're forced to place that bet before the game starts. But don't you think you stand a much better chance of getting that bet correct if you were to do it late in the second half or in the fourth quarter or something like that? In other words, if you were to just wait and see who's most likely to win the game, then your bet stands a much better chance of being right. Okay, and that's the same way you need to think about the market. Okay, this is this is taking a bet right now in the Super Bowl. I'm not going to do that. I'm not, I don't. To me, that's not. I don't stand a highest probability of winning that way. But in, in trading, you don't have to place your bet before the move starts. The whole world loves to place their bet before the move starts. I don't know why, but if the whole world just waited till the fourth quarter and saw where the move was going, what makes the most sense. Their bets would play out a lot more, and their win rate would increase a lot more. And I think you guys see what I'm getting at. You know, nobody's forcing you to take this position right now. It's only you and what you put in your head. Just give it some time. You know, give it some time. Let the market do what it's going to do. Like we say, let them show their hand. You know, think about poker. Let them show their hand. Then you know what they got. You know what they're doing. Then you can take advantage Right now, this is what we talk about trying to be right or trying to make money. This is you trying to be right, okay? Not really trying to make money, all right? It's much easier to make money if you bet in the fourth quarter than it is before the game. So just a little food for thought, you know, and uh, stay patient, you know, don't don't let this get you down. This is kind of typical of, um, of a new year, you know what I mean? Now, we've got NFP coming up at the end of the week. Maybe that will provide a little bit of fireworks. In other words, a little bit of momentum to the up or downside. But uh, try not to put your stops where everybody else's are. Try to be a little bit more patient. There's no penalty for being patient. It's actually the opposite. you know. So best of luck, and we'll catch up with you all soon. Have a good one.